Okay, so we have our DB helper done. Let's go to no to do screen dark. This is where we actually showing the screen. Uh, this is where we're going to call all of these other like no do item and database so, get the, so that we can actually put it all together and start adding things to our database and show on the screen. Notice that we already have this show form dialog. So let's work on this. So the idea here is that when we show form, it's just an alert dialog, which will have a, a text field, if you will, a text editing field that allows user to enter their no to do item. Okay, so let's do that. Var alert this is what I'm going to be creating. So new alert dialog. Uh, I'm going to say content, I'm going to pass in a new row. In fact, maybe I can just say row, probably not to say new row object that we want to create here. I'm going to have children inside of this row. What I'm going to do the first children, I'm going to put it inside of an expand because I want to make sure that it takes all the space it needs. For a child, I'm going to say new text field. And I'm going to pass in a controller. The controller is going to be called text editing controller as such. We haven't created it. We will soon. I'm going to make it out of focus to true so that it's focus as long as out of focus to true. So meaning the moment this pops up, the auto focus to this text input type will be there for it's going to be out of focus. The focus is going to be to the text field. So people can enter their item. I'm going to give a decoration here. I'm going to say new input decoration. It's going to be let's say label text. And we just go ahead and say um, item. Okay. And then hint text. I'm going to say eg don't buy stuff. just like an example so people know what kind of things you're supposed to enter for an icon I love icons I'm gonna say new icon just pass icons class and this pass here uh, add let's just say note add like this it's gonna be something like this okay there are probably better ways better better icons but that works for me I'm gonna add some actions here okay because each alert dialog needs an action, so save or or edit or cancel. The action I'm going to pat, pass in a flat button here. Okay, this flat button will have a few things. Let's see. For on pressed, I'm actually going to pass create an inner anonymous method function here, and I'm going to pass this handle. Submit. We haven't created this, of course, and we're going to pass a text, our text field editing controller. Just copy this. Again, we haven't created none of this. Let's say dot text. Okay, we have errors for a bit. It's okay. And then I'm going to say text, and then I'm going to clear so that we don't have, and then we're going to clear our text field. Let's go ahead and create this here as a local variable uh, actually I don't want that I'm gonna go at the top here make this final text editing controller okay it's equal to new text editing controller such so now we have a handle Therefore, all the problems are gone. Well, not all of them, but at least the one that we want to get solved. Okay, so let's see here. I've got, we have all of this flat button. We still have to create this method here. We'll create it in a bit. And I'm going to just pass here a text that will say save. Okay, and I'm going to create a new button here so new flat button essentially the same uh, for this on pressed I'm just gonna go ahead and say 
return navigator dot pop as such and for the child it's going to be text and it's just going to say cancel like that for now because i just want to be able to run this i'm going to comment that one out let's see so this is not over because once we have this we need to actually go ahead and create a show dialog and here what we're going to do we're going to pass the context of course and then I'm going to pass in now this is new right in previous videos you may in previous versions of dart and flutter you could have just passed in a child but now you have to pass a builder and when you pass a build you have to pass a context now you could pass in say context here but you can also just go underscore which will tell the system that you pass in the context same thing and of course inside here this is where we build our builder or our show dialog okay what we want to pass here we're just going to say return a view or a widget in this case what widget we're returning well we're returning this whole widget here which is the alert so passing alert like that so now we're going to be able to see our alert i'm going to save this if all goes well let's go to this one here actually i think this will work better if you tap here look at that now you see there it is. If you say cancel, it goes away. But of course, you can tap anywhere else, then it will go away. But it's nice to have that cancel there. Save doesn't do anything yet, but look at that. You can even add things. Okay, doesn't do anything, but there we go. The functionality is indeed working. Let's run this on Android as well, so it doesn't feel neglected. Okay, let's see. There we go. It's focused and everything is great. So cancel, we go back. Very good. So now let's go ahead and create this handle uh, submit here method. Let's go at the top, inside, still inside of the no do screen here. But here, what we're going to do, I'm going to say void submit or handle submitted. Is that the name we gave? Let's see. Let's say submitted like this. I'm going to copy this so we don't run into issue. OK. And what I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass a text. Let's just say, yeah, text. That's fine. I'm going to make this async because we will be dealing with databases and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say text controller dot I'm going to clear okay and next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an actual um, to do item right so we're saying here the moment that we tap here and we hit save we want to call the submit and then when we so when that happens we obviously going to get rid of this right the idea is to get rid of all of this going back to the main page main screen but all when all that happens we want to capture whatever we entered we want to save it and then get rid of this okay so it's a process so the first thing we're going to do here is i'm going to create a no do item object so i'm going to say no do item i think we don't have access to this let's import it there we go Call this no do item. I'm going to say is equal to new no do item. And look at this. We need to pass something to create a no do item. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and pass the text, right? Because this text here is going to be whatever we're passing when we submit. If you look down here, we're passing the text at the, the text edit controller and get the text. So essentially, it's going to be the text that we're getting from whatever user entered. Perfect. So date created here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say for now new. I think it's a date dot now. So it's going to go ahead and I'm going to say to ISO string like that. So what that's going to do, you will see just going to have a very generic date. So what we're saying here is each time that the moment that we enter this item into the database, it's going to be the time that we're going to pull and get the right now time of the system and push it into the database okay because if you remember if you click command click 
Look at this. We said here the constructor, the main constructor, passes in item name and date created. That's why we have this. Okay, so we created a no do item object. Once we create it, I'm going to have to save it. Now, because if you go back to database here, let's go and find save. There we go, save. Okay, if you do command F, then type in whatever you want, it's going to go and find that place, right? So save item. Notice it returns an integer because it's going to be the ID of the item that was saved. That's very good. All right, so we're going to capture that just in case we want it. So I'm saying int saved uh, item ID. I'm going to say await because we're dealing with database. I'm going to say DB. Well, we don't have DB. Well, that means then at the top here, we have to create an instance of a database. So I'm going to say here var DB is equal to new database helper. Now, we don't have this yet, so that means we have to import from our file. So import, and there we go. Now we have access to DB. So I'm going to say wait DB. I'm going to invoke the save item. Well, to save an item, we have to pass in no do item, which we already created at the top. See how easy this is? There we go. So now we save the item and then we get the ID, which we'll you'll see later that we will need it to do something with it. For now, let me go and say print item saved ID. So we can see if that's actually working. Okay, let me go save this. I think we should be good to run and see if this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and run because we made a lot of changes in our code. Let's go here. In fact, uh, just in case, okay, see if we're going to be able to save something. All right, oops. All right, textile, I think we need to add the new. Okay, where is this? Looks like only text lets us get away with not adding new. Okay, let's find dart item 49, no do item. Let's go to no do item 49. There we go. Okay, we tried. Doesn't work. <laughs> That's the beauty of compilers. They really tell you what works and what doesn't work. So it's always good. Looks like we still have another problem here. All right, let's change here to say new. Oh, we don't run into issues. Doesn't like that. No worries, let's run again. Hopefully this time we get something satisfactory. Okay, let's add all this new. Maybe something is not right. You want you want us to add new. Hmm. Okay, let's see if this is. And there we go. So it ran, and we have it. Everything great. So it seems like for some reason, um, it doesn't like the fact that we don't have new. I think I will have to run Flutter upgrade or so in order for those changes to work. So if you are running this and followed my suggestion of not having to put new again. Uh, I think things are not working yet. So maybe it will work for you because you have the latest one and I haven't really updated Flutter upgrade upgrade in my machine yet. So in any case, I wasn't make, making that stuff up. Uh, it is true. I read that you don't have to use the new for at least the text. Okay, But in any case, it's okay. Let's just put all the new uh, keywords and, and there we go. So the idea here, we click here, we save, let's say, beer. And you can see we can also add emojis. That's very nice. So the idea here, if we save, we should see it says here item saved ID3. Now, the reason it's saying item save ID3 is because I was actually, I ran before uh, a few times and then um, it added about three items already. So that's the reason why you can see item ID 3. You should see for you, you should see item save ID 1 if that's the first time. 
So, hey, good news. That means this is working. We can't see anything that was saved, but at least we know our database is connected. Everything uh, is actually working. So we actually have a few items in our database right now. So congratulations. In the next video, we are going to uh, up our game here and get at least start getting the items that we've saved on a database so we can actually retrieve the data. And then the fun part is to add the data and inside of our rows in our list view. That is the fun part. All right, perfect. I'll see you next.